Hey, what's going on guys? I'm over here at work, so sorry for the bad lighting, but I'm um, just taking a break. Thought I'd make a quick video about why I'm into firearms and, you know, training or whatever I'm into. Uh, obviously, just like any dude, well, some dudes, you know, I like guns, knives, uh, you know, MMA, stuff like that. Obviously, I don't train in all that stuff just because of my circumstances and what my priorities are. But um, growing up here in America, I moved here when I was uh, five, right before I turned six. I, we grew up in the country. Uh, my stepfather and his dad, we'd um, go and hunt squirrel. I used to shoot a 22 out in the woods a lot. So we had a, a lot of woods. So, you know, we weren't bothering anybody. It was kind of the regular thing. Um, didn't make me like heavily into it, but uh, I was familiar enough with firearms and things to, to respect them, but not be afraid of them. And luckily they did teach me about safety. Uh, about, I don't know, 11, 12 years ago, I was sitting in bed with my then wife. She was recovering from gallbladder surgery. So they had to insert like a, um, they had an incision right in her stomach. So she was just kind of bedridden. She wasn't like hurt, but she wasn't getting up and down. And then um, it was my roommate there as well. But we heard a large bang. So I go out and I wasn't sure what that was. So I go outside and I close the door. And there was uh, two gentlemen in my home um, wearing dark clothes. I'm pretty sure their faces were covered. It's been a while, so you have to excuse my memory. But uh, one of them was in my roommate's room, you know, with a gun pointed at him. He saw me because I guess they didn't expect someone else to be there because I, I guess they were robbing him. So he comes up to me and I remember he was left-handed, pointed the pistol right in my head and said, where's the shit at? Where's the shit? I'm not sure what he's thinking about. I'm like, I don't know. I don't have anything. And you're not going in that room. And I like stood in front of the door and just kind of waited. You know, he just, I just remember a, um, a feeling of like anger and panic and all this stuff kind of rushing through you. Obviously memories can be a little deceiving but i just remember it just that moment really stuck with me so at that time i was just angry and just i felt so violated for someone breaking into our home especially at that time and me feeling helpless other than like denying them entry um soon after maybe the week or the next week we went to the gun range shot stuff i bought my first handgun as an adult um went through a few different ones after that i've come to find out i think they did catch the two guys they think it may have been a may have been a like a home burglary that was targeted for someone else and they happened to come into our place. Um, I think they ended up getting my, my roommate's cash. I didn't get anything from me, so I'm guessing they might have thought it was a different home with other things, but who knows. Um, if I remember correctly, the detective said one of them, there was two, there was a shorter guy and a taller guy. The taller guy was the one with the gun. Uh, one of them ended up dying in, in jail or in incarceration due to a heart condition. But either way, that definitely scarred me and realized that you never know when something's gonna happen to you. I didn't lead any kind of life or went to any dead dangerous places that would lead me into that situation, but you know, it, it, it really showed me that it doesn't matter. It can happen to anybody, it really can. And since then I've had gun pointed at me twice, uh, two more times I used to work overnights at a gas station as a part-time job. And that's, I'm not a people person, but I've been robbed twice. Obviously I just gave him the stuff, but it, it just goes to, you really deal with some of the scum of the earth overnight at a gas station. Um, but for a while, for a long time, long period of time, I didn't really have guns. I sold all the ones I had and didn't worry about it. Um, but then I became a father and you started paying attention to some of the stuff going on in the world and call me old now. Maybe all of our parents went through this, but it's kind of scary to know that how powerless you are for some of the dangers and craziness that can happen to you. And my goal right now isn't to be some macho dude or, you know, to show that I'm better than somebody. It's to make it home every night so I can be there for my daughter, Gabby. I, I couldn't imagine her growing up or some, God forbid, something happening to her uh, and not having a father, not having me in my life. I want her in my life. So, I mean, that's not going to brag. I, um, I think I train enough to be proficient in it, obviously. The stuff I post doesn't, I'm not trying to show that I'm some badass. It's more like you can take the time and do it properly. There are avenues, there are resources, there are things in this world you can access now, especially in this day and age, that you can work on your own. If, if you don't have, even if you don't have the money or the time, if you're in a circumstance where you may not be able to properly train, you can still do it. You can still be safe. You can still be, um, you know, you can st still do it, still train, still have it. I mean, there's stuff at all kinds of price points, but I do 
recommend getting quality stuff. Um, trust your gear. Trust whatever equipment you're using. If, you, if you're afraid that you're going to shoot yourself, you need to better train yourself, better learn your, your equipment, uh, learn your gear, and you need to trust it. If you can't trust the stuff you're going to use to save your life, there's a problem. You need to fix that. But anyway, um, let me know if you guys have had any crazy stories like that. Any, I mean, I, I hope not. I don't wish that upon anybody, but it does happen. But I just thought I'd make a video kind of going over my, uh, my journey. But um, I hope everyone stays safe, stay humble, and, you know, get home, everybody.